was going to start with that recording. Okay, there we go. Sorry for the crash. That um, fortunately does not happen that often with me in Zoom. So, okay. So I, I just want to reiterate that um, the one of the main differences that I use Write Reader over Book Creator today is Write Reader allows the student to record their voice, and Book Creator uses a computer generated voice to read the text. Um, so that's probably the big difference. All right, uh, I started to say, and I'm going to pull up. Um, my chat so I don't lose that. Okay, I started to say that one of my favorite tools is ThingLink and I've been using it for years and years um, since it was brand new. And it has not changed all that much since its inception, but it's still very effective in the way that it works. And so ThingLink is, um, and I thought I put a, a link into something here. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. ThingLink is a tool that allows you to take a static image and place hotspots on it. So here is an example of a still image. Those of you that joined me in the previous Zoom might remember we talked about the TPAC model. And the TPAC model is that technology, pedagogy, and content knowledge. Well, this is simply a ThingLink that explores the TPAC model a little bit deeper. And so, for example, there's a hotspot over the technology knowledge circle and things you might ask yourself are what digital tools are available to you, which would be most appropriate for the specific lesson. And as you hover over each one of these, you see that you get pop up text and pop up text is not the only interactivity you can have with a thing link image you can create these hotspots and you can have a youtube video play or you can have an image appear you can have an image and text appear and so it's a pretty cool tool my students love using it um, a big project that i do in the fourth grade is they have to create an interactive map and they um, they really get into this. They create more hotspots than I would expect them to. Um, if you were doing traditional labels or information that is specific to an area of an image, um, I get a lot more out of them because they like creating the little hotspots. And you can change the icon. Um, I let them do that. and. Uh, as long as they have text, they can have text and an image or just text or text and a video. So I try to make this um, a, a little bit more freedom, give them a little bit more freedom in this because they do like it so much and it doesn't take long to make at all. So pretty cool. Tool. Is, right? yeah. is, that, is that something that you can add into a PowerPoint or do you have to go to the specific thing, think, link, if you will, to see the hotspots engaged? That is a great question. And you do have to go out to ThingLink. Um, you can embed it into a website. So anything that's web-based that allows you that embed feature, you can embed it. But if you're using a presentation tool that doesn't have, uh, or a communication tool, whatever, that doesn't have an embed feature, then all you have is you can put the static image in and the hyperlink, and then it goes directly out to ThingLink, and then you can interact with it. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you bet. Um, don't let that deter you if you're, if you're worried about it not being embedded because it really is a, um, a pretty cool tool. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna, um, pull that bit.ly address back up for you. And I'm going to pull the, um, well, you have the link to our webpage, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that bit.ly link back into our chat window, even though I don't need to, 
because you already have the Jamboard open. Did, did anybody close the Jamboard? Maybe I don't have to do this. No, mine, sir. Okay, so did y'all left it open? Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna hop over to it real quick. And what we're gonna do to kind of wrap up my portion of um, the Zoom meeting is we're gonna do a little reflecting. So in Jamboard, as I said, there are two frames and I'm just gonna click on the next button and go to frame two. And you can see it, it says two of two at the top of your screen. If you wanna go ahead and go to the Jamboard, um, so that you can see it. So again, I've put a little sticky note instruction, put your first name and last name on the sticky note and which tool sparked your interest. How important do you think creativity is in the learning process? And I'm just thinking a scale one to five, one being, you know, creativity is, is hype <laughs> to five. Creativity is extremely important and that's why it's at the top of the Bloom's taxonomy. Hello, Desiree. Um, so go ahead and rate it. If you want to add any more information into your sticky note, feel free. But I am going to also give you an opportunity to um, have an informal chat besides um, inside the Jamboard. So I'll give you a few minutes to do that. So I think we see a pretty interesting, I'm just gonna use the word, I, I hate to use the word flaw, but <laughs> I kind of think of it as a flaw, a kind of a weird element in Jamboard. If you put too much on a sticky note, it just bleeds off the sticky note, which is kind of funny, um, but it's neither here nor there. We could, what I could have done, so now, you know, when I do this again, what I'll do is I will put a frame for each person and you can just type the text in your frame and then you could personalize it for yourself or you know put in an image or something else in there as well. So see, live and learn, reflecting already. Nice.
Rika, what tool are you using to build your website? Let me unmute. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Um, I probably just Weebly. Uh huh. Probably just Weebly. Um, I just want a home base um, to show art so that parents can see it and. Um, Otherwise, I'm not quite sure what else there is, really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like a blog page, but I'm, I don't, it's not the same. Are you going to have, is your website, sorry, everybody, I hope it's okay that I'm doing this. Is your website going to be um, text heavy, image heavy, project, you know what I mean? Like, probably image heavy. Mm -hmm it's a visual arts class so I just want people to be able to see and share what's happening in the classroom at that time yeah yeah um this is just I'm just throwing it out there don't change you know based on what I say um but you know the adobe spark there's a, adobe pages I think is what it's called and it literally is this very straightforward web page builder and okay. it it's super simple um and the web page just grows in length it doesn't have multiple pages but you can create like clear breaks between your content so you know if you had performance versus you know i don't know news or announcements or something like that you can um you can change it so it breaks it up a little bit weebly might be the, the best thing for you to use. Um, I mean, I certainly use it all the time. So uh, it's true. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it might be kind of fun for you to just look at that Adobe tool and see what you think. Just. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay, so perfect. I, I love that um, everybody understands the value that that creativity has value. Um, I, I honestly believe we need to focus more on teaching our kiddos how to think critically, how to solve problems, and creativity plays a massive role in, in both of those areas. And so um, I appreciate seeing where you put your thoughts for creativity, um, you know, where its importance is. Um, questions questions about creativity tools questions about anything that we talked about or that we didn't talk about so i have one question so the very first thing that you listed on on your on your weebly tech site is uh pixton pixton yeah pixton so when i click on that it's like it does. It says welcome back. Like I've already made an account in there. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't uh, I don't have one. And when I try to sign in with stuff, it's like sorry, there's no account found. I so you weren't able to create. Yeah, is it connected to Google Classroom or or to a Gmail or or something like that? I mean, where would it have thought that I already did that? Yeah, and you know, if you look at the web address at the top, yeah. app.pixton.com, it's their main screen. It's their their main um, you know splash screen. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to type in Pixton login teacher and just see if we get a different aha okay so instead of going to the to, and i'll change that on the website thank you see these this is these are the things that i miss right um if you just go to pixton.com there is the option to sign up or log in I bet what I did is clicked on educators or something and it put me into that, you know, app and then it will do that. So I, um, I'll fix that on the website. 
Do you see that where now you can? Yep. Click, I, I, okay. I got it going now. Thank awesome. you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. You guys, if I, if I had a penny for every little blippy mistake I made, I would be so rich right now. I would just be a millionaire. <laughs> ah, yeah, so I'll fix that. Thank you. Desiree, I just have a question on like our content curation project. I want to make sure I'm understanding that correctly. So each week as we go through and we discover new tools and learn about new things, we're just adding to our curation tools that we foresee like us using in the future. Is that correct? Correct. Yes, it is. And that is exactly the way that I think about it. Um, okay. and, and Austin, one of the things that I think is we don't know what tools we, you know, want to use or can use until we get to that point where we're actually, you know, planning that lesson and thinking about the, um, the implementation of it, you know? And so I always tend to save more tools than not because you mm -hmm. may not find value in a tool today, but then something changes, you know, either in your student learning or your teaching or your environment or whatever. And you're like, oh man, there was this tool that allowed me to do this, you know? And so I always encourage people to collect more tools than you think you're going to you know, need or use because you never know when the value of a tool changes, you know, based on where you're at in your, your teaching journey or, or even education journey. So, um, and the two are, they're specific to more so our class. Like for example, um, at first I had Pinterest on there cause I've utilized that, um, in my classroom before, but that's not necessarily something we've learned in here. So should I remove that from my curation? Not at all, because what I want the curation um, tool to be for you is invaluable. Okay, And cool. so it, it's for you, right? I just get to kind of peek in at it. Okay, perfect. And give you a grade for it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, think of how, you know, what what's most valuable for you with that tool. And I don't care if it's, um, you know, Newsweek, you might use that if it's teacher paid teacher. I'm not covering that stuff in in this class, but those might still be valuable to you. Um, so please, please add whatever you want. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. that was a great question. Any other questions or thoughts or, you know, whatever, wherever you're at. All right. Well, um, I will let you look at that 401. Boom. <laughs> no, I feel good about keeping it short. You know, I teach um, an undergraduate course that goes from three to seven and it's, you know, whew, it's a long time. And so I try to keep these as short as possible without shortchanging you guys. So I appreciate you hanging in with me and I'm glad it it only went an hour. Um, quick reminder, just go ahead and still explore that creativity tools section of um, the website, because I do think there are a lot of great tools on there that I didn't talk about. I just wanted to show you some so that you got uh, a taste of them. And that's it. So I hope you guys got something out of this today. I hope it helped, you know, whether it's just making a connection with your professor or and each other um, or learning a new tool, you know, or maybe some ideas for how to use a tool maybe. So uh, however it was, I hope you got value out of today. And uh, please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or anything. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. Bet. You bet.